look at all of this stuff. I'm going to show you liquid nitrogen, which is like liquid oxygen, but liquid nitrogen. So here I'm going to first put on my safety glasses just so you know because, you know, you never know. And also I have a glove here. Uh, let me just start off with this. So this is just an empty beaker. Okay. And here I have some liquid nitrogen. I'm just going to pour it in there. Check that out. Look at that. This is liquid nitrogen in there. That is the same nitrogen that you see in the air, except that it's in liquid form. And it's so cold that it's boiling. It's boiling and turning into a gas. Uh, and then that gas is condensing the water vapor in the air and that makes that cloud. And there you go. That is liquid nitrogen. So just how cold is it? Well, let's, let's take a break from liquid nitrogen for a second. And let's look at my handy dandy temperature scale. Okay, so here we are. We have Fahrenheit and Celsius. Now, Americans use Fahrenheit and other people use Celsius. Really, in this case, metric's better, but Celsius isn't that much better because you don't really break it into division. So here we have start at the high temperature of 212 Fahrenheit or 100 Celsius, that's where water boils. We have 100 Fahrenheit, which is nothing except what's close to the body temperature, 37 Celsius, um, room temperature somewhere around here, 32 Fahrenheit, that's freezing water, zero in Celsius. Uh, this is going to be, uh, this region here I call snot freezing cold, because if you've ever been like below in this region, the snot in your nose freezes and it's really cold. I don't like that. Zero Fahrenheit is the coldest you can get a mixture of salt and ice. So that's kind of cool. If you go down lower, and this is a scale, correctly scaled. I measured it. Now we're down here to negative 40 Fahrenheit, which happens to be negative 40 Celsius. That's the point where the two temperatures agree. And this is the temperature of Hoth, you know, from Emperor Strikes Back. Okay, so what if we go colder? I had to extend this down. Here we have negative 109 negative 78 celsius this is the temperature of dry ice if you get dry ice that's how cold that is well look over here this point right here is negative 297 that is liquid oxygen and then negative 320 is liquid nitrogen so in macgyver we are talking about liquid oxygen but it's not as cold as liquid nitrogen but they're close and then down here negative 459 Fahrenheit, negative 273 Celsius. That's the coldest you can get. There's nothing below that. You can't go any colder. So there's your temperature scale. Okay. Now let's do some more fun with liquid nitrogen. I like this one. Uh, okay, that's gone. So let's take some liquid nitrogen and pour it in here. Oh, actually, I should pour it in this. Let's pour it in this water. So the uh, water is much warmer than liquid nitrogen, so it's going to make the liquid nitrogen boil more, and that produces a lot more uh, water vapor. It looks kind of cool, right? Um, that's that's not a gas. That's just water vapor, and it is adding nitrogen to the air, but. It's 79% nitrogen anyway. So you can put your hand over this and you can see that the air escapes, okay? Uh, but more importantly, it's gonna make the water freeze. I'm gonna have frozen water in there and that's pretty cool. Okay, let's try this. I don't know if this is gonna actually work. I have a box here. And I'm gonna put liquid nitrogen in that. Just a little bit. And now, oops, I'm going to put a balloon in there. Let's just pour it on top. Oh, I'm out. Okay, let me get some more. Check that out. So the air 
gets colder, and when the air gets colder, it shrinks, and the ball and the balloon shrinks. So there you go. Let's try this. Here I have a rubber band. I'm going to stretch it and put it in here. Now, it's not stretchy anymore. So things happen, weird things happen when it's cold. Okay, but let's do something fun. What about this? See now the balloon's expanding back? Here's a bottle of water. I'm gonna put some liquid nitrogen in there. If it spills, it's okay. It's just gonna float around. Now, let's put, that's actually pretty cool all by itself. Let's put a balloon on top. So the liquid nitrogen is turning into a gas and filling this balloon, the balloon gets bigger. Pretty awesome. What about this? What if I stick a cork in there? I'm looking up to make sure this, oh, that one, ah, my cork doesn't fit. Okay, well, we could shoot the cork out. I'll show you another demo like that in a little bit. What about this? Let's look at when I pour it on the ground, on the table. Can you see those little drops of liquid nitrogen floating around? So they're boiling and they make nitrogen gas in the bottom and it makes it frictionless. So they just kind of zoom all around. Okay. So those are some things you can see with liquid nitrogen. It's super cold, about the same temperature as liquid oxygen.